A chemical leak forced evacuations and shut down roads in Tryon, Georgia last night. The Tryon Fire Department responded around 10 o'clock after receiving reports of a tractor trailer leaking. They say the truck was carrying ammonia to Mount Vernon Mills before the driver realized there was a leak. The Tryon Fire Department requested assistance and hazmat teams from Chattanooga and Hamilton County responded. Homes close to the mill were evacuated and several streets were completely shut down and blocked. The leak contained by just after midnight and all residents went back home. News Channel 9's Mary Beth Mangrum reached out to leaders in Tryon to hear their thoughts on the emergency response and how they may change things in the future. We don't have any alerts as far as sirens. We'd have uh, storm sirens, but nothing, nothing of that nature. Tryon residents woke up to police and firefighters going door to door and warning about a nearby ammonia leak. He was um, telling us to evacuate. It, if it explodes, then it might be dangerous for us or we could, we could possibly die, he said. Tryon Mayor Lenny Thomas told us first responders evacuated both 6th and 7th streets, as well as parts of the Mount Vernon Mills. But Police Chief David Gillen says the spill itself was contained quickly. The first step of general containment would have been within minutes, as soon as the fire department got on scene and started putting large amounts of water on the, the spill itself. After residents were notified, they were told to come here to the Tryon First Baptist Church or the Recreation Center. But many of those who were evacuated didn't know the reason why. I live probably 10 minutes from here and, that, you know, if you're not living just right in here, you would have never saw the lights. Recreation Director Chris Mosley got a call from Mayor Thomas to open the center, but didn't know about the leak. The workers are going to know, but the families probably, you know, probably wouldn't. Morales and other residents told us they got updates on the spill from these posts on social media, from the mayor and the Tryon radio station. They just told us to get on Facebook, on social media to, um, to uh, see what the status was. Mayor Thomas told us over the phone that after this situation, a discussion about establishing an emergency system for the town is now in the works. In Tryon, Mary Beth Mangrum, News Channel 9. A date has not yet been set for that meeting. Mount Vernon Mills sent out a press release thanking the many fire departments and hazmat teams for their assistance and thanking their employees for their organized and orderly response.